Steos for Edmonton. On the wing to Ethan Morrow. His pass, far side, Hemsky a drive, and a big save by Oz. Good, and a puck right back to him. And he smothers it, and the penalty is over, and Salvador back on the ice. That's a big save there for Chris Osgood. Really challenged the shooter. Hemsky took the pass on the right wing, you'll see right here. And he took, you see how far Osgood came out and made the save with the blocker. Very nice save, and he hung onto the rebound, so that's huge for the Blues. Don't want to give up a goal early against a team that really has struggled on the power play. There's no score in this one, second period. Now Kachuk, Pronger, he shoots, it's blocked. Pronger trying to maintain the puck, stumbles. Moving in, Ryan Smith, the one-hand shot, the save, and there'll be a penalty here against the Blues. And they are going to call a penalty Come shot. Come on, you can't call a penalty shot here. He was cutting in behind him. No way, Kenny. Come on. Kelly Sutherland is going to call a penalty shot. This is not a, he was not a clear cut breakaway. You see Pronger sliding, playing the puck here. And Ryan Johnson, oh, he threw his stick. That's why he's calling it. Okay. I see it now. He threw his stick. Watch Pronger throw his stick. There's a penalty shot because of the throwing the stick. I did not see that in the first replay, so that's why this is being called because the stick was thrown at the puck. This is the 49th penalty shot this season in the league. And out of 48 penalty shots, there have been only 17 goals. Here we go. Ryan Smith in on a penalty shot. Bakes shoots and Osgood makes the save. Oh, baby. Ryan Smith trying to just make a move and then trying to just dish this in between the pads of Osgood. Ryan Smith not very happy because Osgood shot the puck at him after he made the save. Watch this. Tried to go five hole. Nothing there at all. I think Ryan Smith made his mind up right off the start what he was going to do. Easy save and you see the reaction from Chris Bronger and then Osgood shot the puck at Smith as he was skating away. Watch this, Horkov all alone in front. Osgood is down as he fanned on it and ended up hitting Osgood right in the center of the mask. But look at this here. Osgood is down, and all you do is yell, elevate that about three feet, and you've got an easy goal. And Horkov let that slip up. And it's Weinrich. He'll move up to the red line. Let a long shot go wide of the mark. And the teams are changing again. Now loose puck to Dimitra. He shoots the save. Three by they score. Sasha. Good to have Sasha Havanaugh back. He likes to pinch in. He's been out with that injury to his foot. And he just came in from the left point. Scores his first goal of the season on a rebound, a turnover right here in the end. You see the play there, the shot. And there's Havanaugh coming in up over top of Markkinen. But Dimitra just let a quick shot go, and the kick rebound came right out to Havanaugh, but he made no mistake. That's a huge goal for the Blues, the first one of this game. And Torres run down literally by Pronger. Dvorak gets the puck to Torres to Nedved, a shot, the save, and Osgood at the post to stop Dvorak, but they score! The Oilers have come back to tie it at one here in the third period. Right upstairs for Rafi Torres. What a big save by Osgood. And then the rebound came out. A nice play as they reversed the play. And Torres put it right up underneath the crossbar as Mike Kitchen looks on. But here it is, the hit on Torres. And now the Oilers, you see how quickly Torres got up, moved the puck in front. There's the one shot. And then here's the play by Dvorak. And what a shot there by Torres as he took that puck in between the legs of Chris Osgood. Watch this here. Right up in between. And then you see how it hit the water bottle. So we're tied at one. He'll whack the puck off the glass. Horkoff fires it around behind the net. Ryan Smith can't center against Weinrich. Now does, oh, what a save on Horkoff by Chris Osgood. The Blues did not get the puck out of their zone, and it almost cost them. Yeah, the Blues actually took the puck back into the zone, and then when they tried to clear it, they hit one of the partitions of the glass that stayed in. And here's a play by Ryan Smith, threw it off. He Net, and then there's the shot again. Horkoff has had two glorious scoring opportunities tonight. One in the second, 
Now this one in the third, and Osgood has thrown them both times. Time on a goal from Ryan Smith, so they're no stranger to overtime as well. There are the face-offs. From the draw, here's Pronger. He eyes the net, the shot, the save, rebound, a backhander off the post. Dallas Drake hits the post less than a minute. And the show Brendo, go for it. Right off the face off. A great shot here through traffic by Chris uh, or, uh, Pronger. And then you see the backhander there by Dallas Drake. You see the bench, Mike Kitchen, looking for that first win as a head coach to run it off the outside of the left goal post. Back, three on two, 42 seconds to go in the game. Morrow can't get around Chianic. Nice play by Chianic, but look out here. Oh, what a play by Havidoff on Stoll's centering effort, and the whistle is stopped play. What a play defensively by Sasha Havidoff. Smart play by Havidoff to slide. It was a two-on-one, and the defense a lot of times slide with their feet first, and Havidoff did the right thing. Watch how the play develops. Stoll trying to make this pass across. You see Bergeron all by himself right there. Huge sliding block. One at the other end on the shot by Chris Bronger by Nedbed, and now a sliding block on a pass that was going across to Bergeron. We're